Hi, Eastview family. It's Vicki. Welcome to Wednesday. I hope you're having a great week. My question for you today is, have you ever been in a situation where you felt alone or different because of your faith? Or have you ever felt like you were just treated differently or unfairly because of your faith? Well, here in the United States, obviously, we have strong legal protections for religious freedom. So for the most part, we don't face any systemic or widespread discrimination for our faith, though sometimes we may still feel it. We may feel different or in the minority, or we just feel like we're being treated unfairly. Or maybe we just feel like the world is bearing down on us for other reasons. We can feel alone and abandoned. Yet as believers, we have the promise of the Holy Spirit's comforting presence in our lives as emphasized in John 15, 26 through John 16, 1. So this is precisely where Jesus' disciples would be in the next few days to come. Jesus is continuing with his farewell discourse in uh, the latter half of John 15. He knows that his trial and crucifixion is hours away and that these events will challenge the disciples' faith and their commitment. And so not only has Jesus been teaching them to, to love, to serve, and to abide in him, he also reassures them that he is sending the Holy Spirit to help them and to help them do this. In John 15, 26, Jesus says, But when the Helper comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will bear witness about me. So here Jesus says that the Holy Spirit, the Helper, comes from the Father. He actually says that twice. He also calls it the Spirit of Truth. So the Holy Spirit is connected to truth. What this means is that in times of trials, when we are faced with falsehoods or accusations, the Holy Spirit serves as our advocate, bearing witness to the truth and helping us stand firm in our faith. So these legal words, advocate, bearing witness, to advocate means to support, defend, or speak on behalf of someone or something. And so this is what the Holy Spirit is for us. He is our defender, ensuring that we are not left alone or without support when we are faced with persecution, trials, or challenges. And then to bear witness means to provide evidence or testimony about something or someone. And so this is what the Holy Spirit does for us. He reminds us of the truth reinforcing our faith and confidence in difficult times. Jesus also says to his disciples, I have said all these things to you to keep you from falling away. This is a message for us too. The Holy Spirit isn't merely a passive presence, but he is an active participant in our lives. The Holy Spirit assists, guides, and strengthens us to uphold our faith and stand for the truth. The Spirit is our anchor helping us stay rooted in our faith, even when the world threatens to uproot us. So this should be an encouragement and comfort to us. We are never alone, for the spirit of truth is our constant companion. And in adversity, we are upheld by the comforting presence of the spirit who testifies to the truth and prevents us from falling away. 